Hi everyone, on today's road trip we're going to look at a 1963 Ford Thunderbird convertible. This car is triple black. Um, it's not a sports roadster, but it has the sports roadster package. And it is gorgeous. Um, everybody loves a black car, and this one is triple black. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you're really going to like this car. I have uh, Pat here with us. Hey Pat. Hi there. Pat's the owner. He's uh, nice enough to show us his car. Um, I just want to do a little walk around on this side. This is what they call the Bullet Bird. It's a 63. Uh, it's got, like I said, the Sports Roadster package added. Uh, Pat, how many years have you had it? I've had this in September of 17, so about six years. Six years. Did you have to do much to it? Uh, just some work under the hood, some mechanical work. Go over the overall interior, uh, restore the trunk, and that's about it. And a new top. And a new top. I love the car. Was it always a black car from new? Yes, always a black on black car. So you didn't have to change any of the colors. That's nice. It's really nice. And uh, the previous owner, is that the fellow that uh, did the Sports Roadster edition? Uh, the the for Sports Roadster uh, features that were added to the car were added in Canada before I purchased it. This car was originally from Canada. Okay. Could you open it up for us? Sure. This is beautiful. Look at this car, folks. And uh, what did you do in here? Did you have to do much? That's completely new upholstery, new carpeting, new dash skin, new new aluminum, new door panels. Wow. It looks pretty fresh. How does the top work? Top works great. You don't have any issues with that? No, I do not. And this has air conditioning, which is actually pretty rare, isn't it? Yes. And the and first year of the AMFM non-stereo available as an option on Thunderbird. Wow. There goes a grab bar that uh, all the sports roadsters had, but yes. uh, that was added. Nice touch. Look at this uh, instrumentation. How nice that is, these dials. Very sharp. I always liked the Bullet Bird. I always thought they were real futuristic. And this has, uh, what do they call that, the swing away? Or, yes. Did I get that right? Swing away steering wheel. Came first in 61 and stayed on until the late 60s. So you can in and out of the car very easily. Well, you had mentioned to me if it's swung to the right. It locks and park. It locks and park so you don't have to worry about it the drifting into Correct. Uh, gear. It'll stay in park. Look how clean this door panel is. The trim is beautiful. It's got the courtesy lights. It has uh, power windows. Is power windows pretty rare for these? That was an option. That was another option? I love the color. Triple black, it's it's very difficult to maintain, but when it's done right, uh, I don't think there's a prettier car. Can you start it up for us, Pat? Sure. Beautiful. Starts right up. Let me look at the back real quick before we uh, work the top. Look at those taillights. How cool is that? Another feature that I always liked about these birds was the trim here is worked into the door handle. So you just grab the, the molding here and, uh, and open the door. It's very well thought out. It's got the side mirrors, the dual side mirrors for both sides. Let me see if Pat will work the top for us. Can you work the top for us? Sure. I'm going to step back here. Look at this. Very cool. Look at that. Nice. These tops are not an easy thing to figure out. I mean, you got to be an expert just to uh, work these tops to know how they work. Cool.
Beautiful. And the tonneau cover behind the front seat is beautiful. I always love the way they look. Gives it a very long, sleek look. Isn't that cool? Love it. Beautiful car, Pat. Thank you. Love the look of it. Thank you. It's just so futuristic. Thank you. Now, can you uh, close the top again or, or sure. put it back up? Sure. Now, check out the screws here actually spinning. Got one on each side. And then they lock it down. Beautiful. Very cool. And you get a completely different look when the top is uh, up. It's still very futuristic, though. Pat, I noticed your back window is uh, has got a zipper on it. You just zip it down? Yes, that allows the top to stay up and yet have the window be zipped down so you can get flow of air through the car. And you have snaps on it to keep it in place? It zips in, and the snaps keep the window, when it's rolled down, it snaps in place with those straps. That's pretty cool. I bet you there are a lot of uh, convertibles that don't have those straps in place, huh? That could be, yeah. These, these were added when the top was redone as a pertinent requirement on my part. Can I open this door? Sure can. Let me take a look at this side real quick. Look at that. Now, the air-conditioned uh, convertibles are pretty nice. Yes. Not too this, many of them are air-conditioned. Right that now. was an option also back in 63. And you recovered your dash? The, the dash is a skin, not a new dash. It was reskinned, and I, and I did that work myself, along with the rest of the interior job. work. Great job. It's beautiful. And you did the interior, too? Yes. Wow. This is pretty cool. And then this tonneau uh, just screws in and pops out? It just lifts out. There's a handle behind it, behind it, and there's two wing screws that secure the tonneau to the panel in the back of the car. Yeah. Very nice. Beautiful car. Thank you. Can you pop the hood? We can take a peek at the end. Sure. Running or not? Yeah, you can leave it running. Now we're looking at what? At 390 Z code, four barrel, 300 horse, Ford engine. Very nice. And you have the dress up kit? Yes, that is the factory or dealer installed chrome dress up kit. This Everything came in chrome other than the air cleaner. I got to tell you, this is very smooth. There's no tapping or uh, ticking or anything. It's a very smooth sounding motor. You said uh, 300 horsepower? Yes, 300 horsepower. Nice clean hood pad. Beautiful car. And this was always an air conditioned car? Or was yes. that added? Factory air. Factory air? Yes. I noticed the hood latch was right here, part of the, uh, the grill. Yes. You have to grab that center uh, grill piece yes. to work the hood. Pretty neat. Beautiful, beautiful car. What are your plans to do with it? Are you going to hold on to it? Uh, just enjoy just it? Just hold on to it. Leave it to someone. No plans to sell it. Would you leave it to me? That could be negotiated. What? Let me ask you again. Please, would you leave it to me? That could be negotiated. Okay. Everything's up for negotiation. Love the 63, though. It's a little different than the 62s and the 61s. It's got the hash marks. On the door and the fender and the doors uh, have a different line on them. Um, your spokes. I know that was a sports roadster package. That part of the, the, sp the spoke wheels, they are real with inner tubes. Okay. The roadster emblem on the fender, the grab bar on the dash on the passenger side. 
and a tonneau cover to cover the back seats were all part of what would have been a true sports roadster, which this is not. These are just sports roadster features that were added prior to my ownership. And these are 14-inch, did you these say? These are 14-inch wheels. And you have tubes in them? Yes. I'd say uh, it's probably wise to put tubes on all your uh, three-spoke wheels, wouldn't you say? Yes. I know you were telling me you had a bit of a problem uh, early on with one of the wheels losing air. Yeah, they're, t they're a little temperamental for leaks uh, if they're not installed properly. Yeah. But without the tubes, you're going to get a lot well, yeah, of leaks. You, you, yeah, they won't hold. They won't hold. They'll, leak, they'll, they'll leak air around the spokes, hence the tube like on a bicycle. Yeah. Beautiful car. I love your car. Pat. Thank you. Thank you very much. i seen uh, Pat roll into this car show. We're in Lahaska, PA. And uh, when i seen his car, I knew I had to talk to him about it. See if I can video it and take some pictures of it. Um, I'm a big sports roadster fan. Love the bullet birds. And uh, this one here is just, uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. Does it for me. So, folks, tell me what you think. 1963 Ford Thunderbird convertible with the added sports roadster package. Triple black with air, factory air. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Definitely subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Pat, thank you very much for showing us your car. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.